Allow me to be frank. At the commencement, you will not like me. No, I say you will not. The gentlemen will be envious, and the ladies will be repelled. You will not like me now, and you will like me a good deal less as we go on. Oh, yes, I shall do things you will like. You will say, that was a noble impulse in him, or he played a brave part there. But do not warm to me. It will not serve. For when I become a bit of a charmer, that is the danger sign, for it prefaces the change into the full reptile a few seconds later. What I require is not your affection, but your attention. I must not be ignored, or you will find me as troublesome a package of humanity as ever pissed into the Thames. Now, ladies, an announcement. I am up for it all the time. That's not a boast or an opinion. It is a bone-hard medical fact. I put it around, you know, and you will watch me putting it around and sigh for it. Don't. It is a deal of trouble for you, and you are better off watching and drawing your conclusions from a distance than you would be if I got my tarts pointing up your petticoats. <laughs> Gentlemen, do not despair. I am up for that as well, when the mood is on me, and the same warning applies. Now, gents, if there be wizards in the house, jades, harlots, as how could there not be, leave them be for the moment. Still your cheesy erections till I have had my say, but later, when you shag, and later you will shag, for I shall expect it of you, and I will know if you have let me down. I wish you to shag with my homuncular image rattling in your gonads. Feel how it was for me. Feel how it is for me. And ponder. Was that the same shudder he sensed? Did he know something more profound? Or is there some wall of wretchedness that we all batter with our heads at that shining, live-long moment? That is it. That is my prologue. Nothing in rhyme. Certainly no protestations of modesty. You were not expecting that, I trust. I reiterate, only for those who have arrived late, or were buying oranges, or were simply not listening. I am John Wilmot, 2nd Earl of Rochester, and I do not want you to like me.